In the last video, we talked about how we can define the A minor scale degrees in relationship to the A major scale degree. So the A minor scale has a 1, a 2, a flat 3, a 4, um, pardon me, a 5, a flat 6, a flat 7, and a 1. And these flats here um, open up a really useful concept to musicians, which is kind of what I explained before, which is that you can define any note in relationship to any major scale. What I mean by that is, here's the key of A major, so if I'm looking at the note B, I'm going to call that the 2 of A major. Or if I'm looking at the note D, I'm going to call that the 3 of A major, or the 4 of A major, if I care to define it in relationship to A major. But I want to know, what do I do about these notes? These notes um, are kind of interesting. They're not in the key of A major, but I bet, I bet there have been times when, as a musician, you've been playing a song in the key of A major, and then something weird happened, like you played an F chord, which had the notes F, A, and C. And F and C are two notes that are not in the key of A major. And you're like, well, WTF, I'm in the key of A major, why am I allowed to play those notes? And really, truly, the, the full answer to that question is going to require a whole extra video, but the point I want to make now is that we can just go ahead and define these yellow notes in relationship to the A major scale by saying, well, why don't we just call this the flat 2? Why don't we call this the flat 3? Why don't we call this the flat 5? Why don't we call this the flat 6? And why don't we call this the flat 7? And you can call them that. So whenever you come across these notes, and you're playing in the key of A major, you could be like, oh, well, you gotta, you gotta hit that flat two there, you gotta hit that flat three there, and that's just part of the way the song is played. Um, here's another interesting thing you could do. You could actually call this the sharp two, or the flat three. That'd be fine. You could call this the sharp four, or the flat five. You could call this the sharp five, or the flat six. You could call this the sharp six, or the flat seven. And you're gonna roll your eyes at this, but there are context dependencies for why you would call these things sharps or flats, like why this would be called a sharp four versus a flat five. And that's a thing that we're not gonna really get into. The point of this very short video is just to say, hey look, we've got five notes in any major scale that are not inside, that are not diatonic to the key. And so what do you call those? when you're dealing with them and you're playing inside that key. Well, you call them the flat two or the sharp two or flat three, you call this the sharp four or the flat five, this is the sharp five or flat six, this is the sharp six or flat seven. And that is that, that's gonna help us with the next video when we start talking about triads and, um, and what we call each of the notes and all the different kinds of triads. So let's just give one other quick example of this. Um, why don't I look at the key of C so here's C major, and this is going to hold as well. So, the, oh my goodness, what have I done here? There we go. Okay, C major. The 1 of C major is, of course, C. The 2 is D. The 3 is E. 4 is F. And so all the notes that are not diatonic to the key of C can also get these special nicknames just like in the key of A. So you got the flat 2, you got the flat 3 or the sharp two, the sharp four, the flat five, etc. So that's just useful language to, for us to have um, going forward. Now, let me explain another really practical reason why you would want to care about this. Let's say you're playing a song in the key of A major, and you've got, um, let's say the chords are A, and then you've got another chord that's an E, and then you've got an F sharp, and you've got a D, and you're like, yep, this is the one, the five, the six, and the four in A major, but then the song ends triumphantly on, a, um, on an F, a G, and then an A. You've got an, uh, oh, and pardon me, this should have been minor. So you've got A minor, or you've got A major, E major, F sharp minor, D, and this is the 
mo majority of the song, but then at the very end, you're going to play these three notes. You're going to play F, G, and A. Well, that's interesting. Um, you're still in the key of A major. So what do you call this? What would you call an F in the key of A major? Well, here I am in A major, and so F is the flat six. So, and this is a major chord, so I'm going to call this the flat major six of F. And I'm going to call this the flat seven, and it's a major chord, so I'm going to call it the flat major seven of A. And then obviously A is one. So the 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 song ends with these with these three big big fat chords. And actually, well, go ahead and play it if you're by a uh, piano. And I hope you are. Play these chords. You've got A. You've got E. F sharp minor. D. Play these chords a couple times, and then go bum ba da 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 da, which is what it's going to sound like in the key of A. Now the cool thing about defining. Um, the chords with Roman numerals like this is that if I wanted to go to any other key, let's say I wanted to go to C major, well, let's look at all of these, let's look at the Roman numerals from the perspective of C major. So the one in C major is of course a C, so we're transposing the song from A to C. The five of C major is um, G major. The minor six is of course, uh, whoop, here we are in C major, so 6 is an A minor, and 4, the major 4, is going to be F major, and then the flat 6 of C is going to be here. It's A flat, so this is going to be A flat. The flat 7 of C is going to be B flat, and then of course the 1 is going to be C. So this is just useful. It's just you know, shorthand, like if I'm figuring out the chords to a song, or if I'm looking them up or something like that, and I see I see something like this in the key of A major, and I want to transpose it to another key, well, I can just give them these Roman numeral numbers, and that's the general formula for the chords in any key I want to pick. I can pick any key I want and just go look at the scale degrees, and it'll tell me, well, go to the first scale degree and then make that a major chord. Go to the fifth scale degree and build a major chord off of that. Go to the sixth scale degree, build a minor chord off of that. Go to the fourth scale degree, build a major chord off of that. Go to the flat six, build a major chord. Go to the flat seven, build a major chord. Go back to the one, build a major chord. So that's one really useful practical application for this kind of a notation.